Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chiha the God. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The wings of the Pirate King. The two pillars that stand on either side of the future Pirate King, holding it up in times of trial, shielding him when he falters, and pushing him to even greater heights. I'm talking about the dynamic duo, the sword and the flame, Morono, Zoro, and Vince Mozanji. These two don't just make up the top brass of the Straw Hat crew. They are the reason Luffy will one day claim the title of Pirate King and the One Piece. Zoro and Sanji aren't just your typical first and second mates. They are so much more than that. The growth, sacrifices, rivalry, and the unwavering loyalty to Luffy make them the irreplaceable pillars of the Straw Hat crew. Now, let's break it down. Not just from a combat standpoint, but from a character perspective, because that's what makes the bond with Luffy so damn compelling. Now, we start with the man who is Luffy's right hand, the swordsman who dreams of becoming the world's greatest. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, right hand? No, Sanji is the right hand. Uh, no, listen, listen, Zoro is the right hand man, right? He he's second in command. Let's just let's just come on now. Let's not be let's not be crazy over here, okay? Now, the swordsman who dreams of becoming the world's strongest but knows that his true purpose lies in ensuring Luffy becomes the pirate king. Zoro's journey is one of quite determination a man of few words but whose actions speak volumes from the very beginning zoro demonstrated his sheer strength of his will and his unwavering commitment to luffy's dream remember remember when we first meet him this boy is ready to starve himself you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> all because he, he he did something that he believed was right and he got tied up and he was like, all right, fine. I'm going to sit right here. You're going to let me off after I don't eat for this amount. Like crazy month. You know what I'm saying? He really thought he could just do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Luffy was like, bro, like you're going to die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, <clears throat> let's continue. Now, do you remember back in Trailer Back when Zoro took on all, and I mean, remember this, all of Luffy's pain because people try to downplay Zoro's endurance he took he already was pained and then he took all of Luffy's pain and Luffy was already knocked out from all of that pain and exhaustion he took all of that on top and he was standing there you know what I'm saying so without a sword so that that's like he did that shit so that his captain could keep moving forward that was a defining moment not just for Zoro because it was the moment that Zoro decided he's willing to give up his life to ensure that Luffy can continue his dream he was willing to give up his own dream because before that remember he said he said to Luffy if at any point I feel like you're gonna hinder me from getting my dream if you're gonna get in the way of me getting after my dream I would cut you down my goddamn self but instead he decided I will die for my captain right that was a defining moment not just for zoro but for the entire crew it wasn't just about strength it was about sacrifice zoro is the person who will shoulder any burden endure any pain and make any sacrifice to see that luffy's dream gets realized and let's not forget that his combat abilities <laughs> come on now zoro is an absolute beast with a sword no, 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 not just with any sword. Tree swords, whether it's cutting down giants, battling superhuman enemies like King and Wano, or holding his own against the strongest swordsman in the world. Zoro's strength, power, drive make him a one man army. But more than that, his strength is always in service of Luffy's ambitions. This is a man who, after his humiliating defeat at the hands of Mihawk, vowed never to lose again. Because he knew that to be Luffy's right hand, he couldn't afford to fail. But Zoro's journey isn't just about unquestioning loyalty. There was the moment in Water 7 when he challenged Luffy's decision to forgive Usopp too easily after Usopp had left the crew. So I wasn't afraid to stand up to his captain because he knew what the crew needed wasn't just a friend, but a leader. Zoro represents the backbone of the Straw Hats, the one who will remind Luffy at the weight of leadership right of the weight of leadership even if it means going against him for a moment right and then we got vin smoke sanji the heart the lover boy the man of the crew you know what i'm saying the man of the people now the man of the ladies he thinks but he just can't do it and then on the other side obviously we have sanji if zoro is the unyielding will of the crew then sanji is its beating heart sanji's journey has always been deeply emotional rooted in his sense of compassion his love for his crew and his desire to protect those he cares about now we all know Sanji's dream is to find the all blue, but that dream always takes a backseat to the needs of his captain and his friends. There's no better example of this than when Sanji, in one of the most heart-wrenching acts of the series, left the crew, Whole Cake Island, right? Sanji always 
is willing to self-sacrifice. Because even when Zoro took the pain, right, from Kuma, guess who was actually going to take the pain as well? Sanji. He was pushing forward to take the pain, but then Zoro was like, not you, Bushi, and smacked him with his sword and knocked him out and then took the pain instead. So he's also willing to sacrifice himself for the pirate, the future pirate king. You know what I'm saying? So um, now, Sanji... Always sacrifice. Sanji only self self sacrificing did everything he could to keep Luffy and the others out of the mess with his family. Even if he meant breaking their hearts in the process, he hit Luffy, denied his place in the crew, and tried to push them away. All because he thought that it was the only way to protect them, the only way to ensure that they can continue the journey. Because he was afraid that they would get murked by his family. But what happened? Luffy didn't give up on him, and in one of the most iconic moments, Luffy declared that he wouldn't eat a single bite until Sanji returned to the crew. That's the power of the bond. Sanji's not just a chef his family his cooking nourishes not just the bodies but the spirits and his sense of loyalty runs just as deep as Zoro's in Whole Cake Island we saw Sanji at his lowest but it was also the act that reminded us why he's such a pivotal part of Luffy's journey in terms of combat Sanji is a powerhouse in his own right his black leg style is a flurry of powerful kicks and his speed is on fucking matched We've seen him go head to head with opponents like Queen, a Yonko commander, and hold his own. Sanji may not use swords, but his kicks hit like a goddamn wrecking ball. And now, with his genetic enhancements from his Vin Smoke lineage kicking in, Sanji's strength has evolved even more. But through it all, he remains true to who he is as a man, and he refuses to harm any woman. Who, and he fights for his friends and values humanity over everything else because, remember, he's afraid that he might turn into a mindless machine similar to Kuma. But you know who he entrusted to take care of that for him? None other than the mighty Zoro. Now, Zoro and Sanji's relationship. Well, it's complicated, right? They fight, they bicker, they insult each other. But at the end of the day, they respect each other in a way that transcends words. Luffy may be the heart of the crew, but Zoro and Sanji are its wings. They each represent something fundamental to Luffy's growth. Zoro is there to challenge Luffy's resolve, to remind him of the strength and sacrifice needed to be a leader. Sanji is there to keep Luffy grounded, to show him that strength without compassion is meaningless. Together, the, and remember, he, he got mad about uh, at, at Luffy when he started talking smack about um, Usopp when Usopp up was about to leave the crew you know what i'm saying sanji wasn't having it together these two have guided the rest of the crew as well whether it's stepping up when luffy's out of commission or protecting the crewmates in the midst of battle zoro and sanji are always there to ensure that the straw hats never fall apart they complement each other perfectly in combat zoro's raw strength and sanji's agility create a balanced force that no enemy can easily stand against the growth throughout the story isn't just about getting stronger physically it's about the deepening bonds with luffy the crew and each other zoro a sense of loyalty sanji's compassion and again though support for luffy are what have kept the crew moving forward no matter the odds in the end these two don't just stand beside luffy they elevate him they are the reason he can keep pushing forward the reason he can fight without hesitation knowing that they have his back and the rest of the crew's back he can fight ahead knowing he's fighting whoever is the strongest whoever the leader is knowing that my boys are going to take care of the rest of the crew if there's any danger they're going to take care of any henchmen any other opposite position in my way they're gonna make sure it never reaches me because they will handle business with Zoro's sword and Sanji's flame at his side there's no doubt in anyone's mind Luffy will be pirate king because his wings will carry him there it's your boy Supreme Chi here the god I see a lot of Sanji Zoro fighting bickering let's bring some love to it I'm out subscribe